So my dad ended up taking me to the studio. I couldn't even reach the the uh, mic. We had phone books. I sat on top of the phone books. I couldn't get the notes right. So my daddy had to lay a dummy track and I had to listen to it like four or five times. Mm. And then my dad was like, can you do it now? Yeah. Bar baby. <laughs> Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. When you and Big Mo did that song, how did it hop to for you? You were young, but how yeah. did how did it how did it happen in your eyesight? So I was six when it um act when we actually recorded the song, mm -hmm. and um, D Rec and Note D actually called my dad. Um, I was told that they were trying to use a sample couldn't find a sample so my dad ended up taking me to the studio I couldn't even reach the the uh, mic we had phone books I sat on top of the phone books I couldn't get the notes right so my daddy had to lay a dummy track and I had to listen to it like four or five times mm. and then my dad was like can you do it now yeah Bar baby. <laughs> and they was like yeah that's it baby girl that's it I ain't really paying no attention. I got down, got my Barbies, went and sat in the studio while they did whatever they did. Mm -hmm. When it hit was when I went home, and I don't know how they did this so fast compared to now how you got to get everything mixed and mastered Master, before yeah. you even. I got home, getting ready to get in the bed, go to school, and my daddy cut on the radio, and he said, listen. You got this brand new joint by your very own Big Mo Bar Baby, Future Rondetta Spencer. It's the Bar Baby. And I'm like, <laughs> that yeah. quick. That you quick. So that little. quick. And I'm just trying to figure out, like, how did they get now knowing happened. what I right. know? Like, it's processing steps where they just show you how much power they had back then back and then. how the ties were. And you know, put this on the Put deck. that on there yeah, and get it done. So. I got playlist. tired of listening to the song too. It got to a point where when we would get in the car to go to school and I'd hear that, my granny, what did you do? <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Did your friends know it was you? No, because I went to a private school. Okay. So I went to a Christian private school. So it, them kids didn't know nothing. They didn't know. No. They don't listen to that it type was of music. They kumbaya over there. They, didn't. <laughs> they was trying to straight listen to whatever that. they were being told in that school. That's it. When I made the transition in third grade, to go to public school, some of the kids knew. Yeah. But they didn't know it was me. And my daddy had instilled to me, don't tell nobody that shit. Keep it quiet. Wow. This is a public Privacy. school. Privacy. We don't know how these people are. Oh, you're talking about from yeah, private from public. to public? Yeah. Right. And then I went to middle school, Beverly Hills Intermediate, and this one guy named Ray Gonzalez wanted to play a game of Google. We Shout out, Google. Ray. We're going to Google our name. I wasn't thinking. I was like, all right, what we got free. do that? We got free, period. You want to Google people names? Google. You didn't even know what would pop we up? We Googled everybody name, got to mine, probably third to last, and it popped up. Ronetta Spencer, Bar Babies. I was like, oh, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble. What did they say when they seen what it? What did your friend say? I didn't have a cell phone. I wasn't allowed to have a cell phone in school. So My daddy said the only person you need to call was me, and if you need to call me, go to the principal's office. They got their razors, right, and they texting people. And I'm like, what are y'all, you know, like, what are y'all doing? Ray was like, why you didn't tell us? Well, my daddy told me not to tell y'all. I get called down to the office. Oh, you got called to the office for this? I got called this? down to the office. It, the word spread that quickly. It spread, uh, it spread quick enough to get to my daddy's phone. Ooh. I got called down to the office. I get down there, my dad and my grandmother, my daddy looking at me like, you <laughs> was about what 10 11 12 i was about 11 or 12 yeah mm -hmm. he's looking like what did i like what did i tell you it's not that hard to keep your mouth shut and i'm trying to explain to him like it's not my fault it was ray and he like who was ray <laughs> i he googled it and then my grandmother was like technology you can't stop that right Ronnie. yeah so he was like uh well we're gonna have to have a talk with the teachers we had to talk with the teachers kids treated me okay i got a little special treatment you know but for the most part <laughs> Kids, they treated me fine. Now, when I got to high school, it was a whole different ball game. When you I got to Miss popularity, school, he was in high school. Oh, with this me. nigga oh, is <laughs> That nigga high school sweethearted. Uh, this nigga, man, uh, out Did of he nowhere. Did ignore you? Out no, of nowhere. No, he was my crush. He had a girlfriend, so he oh. was my crush. Oh, that nigga cheetah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> I was a nerd. I was nerdy. Like okay. I had the glasses, and oh. then I transitioned into contacts my junior year, and all that stuff. So when I would see him, it was kind of like, 
you know, to yeah, my friends. Yeah. And they be like, he got a girlfriend. I'm like, that's him, no. But um, what wow. I would say, what, junior year, senior year, people really started finding out? Yeah, somewhere up in there. I didn't believe it. <sighs> They didn't, you, they, you said that's that girl that was on the big mo. What, how, what did she they, was how, on that how song. How did they react? What Man, did they do? High school was a trip. I went did you get any bullying? To no. Somebody. You no, know, it was cool with everybody. Some, okay. You had the people that didn't like me. I didn't really care. You had the ones that was the non-believers. Didn't really care either. Then you had the ones that were in the music industry that knew, that recorded at my daddy's studio. And yeah. was like, nah, you good. We got you. No worries. Then you had just the ones that wanted to just say, hey, I sat with her or I took a picture with yeah. her. But I was cool with everybody. I didn't have any problems. Um, I wasn't a problem child because my daddy didn't have a problem coming up to the school. My yeah. auntie didn't either. But in high school, it was just kind of like you sing Bar Baby. They treated me like a celebrity, but it was kind of like, oh, she cool. Renetta, yeah, she cool. She sing too. I want a talent show. Wow. So I mean, they would they would show mad love, like North Shore show mad love on talent shows. I get up there and do my little, you know, I, I sing Shaka Khan. Hey, so I get up there to the fire, you know, yeah, my yeah, song yeah, or yeah, yeah. And they rock with me. The teachers rock with me. But um, high school was okay. Middle school just kind of scared me because I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't know if I was gonna get in trouble by mm-hmm. Ronnie. Sorry, Dad, I called you by first name. But <laughs> let me ask you. So, so when 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 Big Mo died, uh, how was that? How was and well, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about you getting older and him still. You know, you and him having that relationship. What what was that like? Um, I would get calls. Um, they kept in touch with my grandmother a lot. So I would get calls, um, making sure that those grades never dropped. So you know, if your grades drop, you're going to have a problem with all of us. Yeah. And that just wasn't from Mo. That was from all of them. Like all of them. Like who? Uncle Screw. Well, Uncle Screw used to pop up at my elementary sometimes. He was my cousin's godfather. Okay. Wow. So he was family too. Mm-hmm. And he, you don't want these money, you better keep them grades above, mm-hmm. you know, above average. I'm letting you slide with an A minus, but baby girl, education is key. Okay, Uncle Screw. And you grades drop. You can't come to the house no more. You can't be doing none of that no more until you get your grades. And it was the same thing with all of them. Um, my Uncle D-Rec was the same way. With, um, CEO of Rec Shop. He Rec was, Shop. Them boys went hard. Yeah. Progress reports and report cards was mandatory. Wow. Did you get I paid? to keep. I did. As I was about to say, did I you get did. paid for that report card? Um, I'm still paying if, to this day. <laughs> They let me slide with B minuses, but if it was a C on there, we had a serious talk, and like sometimes I couldn't go to the studio, but until I brought it up, 